local agencies are coming together against human trafficking in the central Louisiana area. Last week, we focused on the forms of trafficking. This week on St. La Gets Real, we'll tap into juvenile delinquency and the path some victims may take. Also, ways we can prevent children from becoming victims. Engaging children before they get on the radar is the goal. We don't always get notice of the problem until it's too late. Too late, as in a trafficking victim being accused of a crime and judges dealing with criminal activity. Certainly we can always back off and try to provide that person services and that's the goal of juvenile court is to try to actually to rehabilitate certain conduct. But you need to know if they're suffering from any trauma. Because juvenile court is confidential, the community doesn't know what's going on. Fiends director Dasha Black believes underestimating the severity of the topic is risky. Trafficking does not have a color. It does not have a social status. It does not have a race or religion. Trafficking is hitting every neighborhood, every social status. If you have a child that is at risk doing at risk behavior, it's a possibility that trafficking can be involved. There may be some serious underlying trauma. To avoid children being put in vulnerable positions, Davidson advises reaching out for help. If you see somebody struggling, if you see those signs that are causing you to lose sleep because your child's disappearing, particularly if they're disappearing for, for, for overnight, and their time's unaccounted, you don't know where they are, you can't get them on the phone. Getting young people to open up can be hard. Here's where you can start. It's making myself open to what they're saying, listening to them, because that's what kids want. They want someone to listen to them, to tr meet them where they are. So I make myself open and I let them know, you can talk to me. Protecting and educating them about what could happen. The reality is our young folks are the ones who are gonna be, they're gonna have my job and your job as, as we age. And we'd like for them to be able to take care of us. And they can't do that if we let allow them to leave childhood that damaged. Local organizations hope to see progress as they continue to crack down on a crime that's in every community. Real people, real stories, real solutions. Sinlock gets real. Miranda Thomas, ABC 31 News. That works for you.